I know I think about you. Hi guys, I'm Matt and welcome back to the council. Now, I know I haven't recorded this game for like a long time, but I am back and we will finish this game one way or another. This thing, I swear. So, uh, at the moment we are performing an investigation because if you don't know, um, well, Mrs. Adams decided to die, apparently. I received your last letter. Okay, we don't got this thing. Uh, so yeah, she apparently have uh, died herself, and uh, now we are supposed to perform an investigation. Why exactly, Nas? Golden I don't know. Hmm. I'll keep it for later. Yeah, because I used one of them because I had like a negative effect from one of the uh, other drugs that I take. Because apparently, uh, Mr. Roche or whatever his name is, because I already forgotten, uh, he takes shitloads of drugs. He takes drugs for his headache. He takes uh, drugs when he needs to think. He takes a drug when he's performing an investigation. He's pre taking drugs when he's about to fuck himself as well. How delightful. Next room, Mr. Bonaparte. Let's see. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, Mr. Bonaparte is sitting over there. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk around and check every single thing I can in his room. The Battle of Alexander Adesis, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. Hey, this is a nice painting. I really like that this game actually like, shows you real paintings and you can like learn a thing or two even. This golden elixir. Yep. No, this is something else. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing this is this thing. Yeah, okay, whatever. What's this? The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm. That might come in handy. Develop it immunity. Ah, Mr. Bonaparte, you have many secrets before me, don't you? Uh, lovely. <laughs> we will see about that thing very soon, Mr. Napoleon. Or maybe your real name is Bob. You got that thing already? Person Gatorix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer. Two great army chiefs. Uh, he said two great warlords, not two army chiefs. Actually, Caesar, he was was he a warlord? My dear Napoleon. Oh shit! My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. Hmm. Personal invitation, you say? There's What's this? One holster in Bonaparte's gear and the pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in him. But where's the pistol? Wait, wait, what? what? Wait, 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 one more time. There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear. And the pistol is missing. Pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical hmm. of the soldier in him. Yeah, but where the fuck is the pistol? He He's wearing a pistol with him? On the island? Ooh, that's fishy. Okay, let's look around. Maybe he has something on the bed. No. Okay. Something behind here? Nope. Didn't find anything. <laughs> Just lurking around. Just saying. Also, when I want to like turn the screen using the mouse, it's a pain in the ass. Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like. I need to like do some personal reading on the on Caesar and all. Damn. My my memory of him got rusted over the years. I do like actually like love Rome and stuff related to Rome one way or another. Uh, I was like kind of like wondering for some time to play uh, Rome Total War for the channel. I know that some people consider that completely like not even close to actual like Rome history. Some of you are like right, depending on how you're gonna look at it. Uh, but that game is like. Wonderful. I'm talking about the first ROM game, not the second one. The first ROM game is one of like the best Total War games I have ever played in my life. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly, 
The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powerly continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Hmm. Was that actually like a fake? Because if you don't know, uh, the console is actually like using historical figures, but the story itself is like fiction. Okay, so I kind of like wonder is this thing like a real, like a re real thingy, or it is just like because for the purpose of the game. Hard to say. What's this? It's a beautiful weapon. A Levy Damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Damascus steel? You've shitting me as this is Damascus steel. It's a beautiful weapon. A Levy Damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Ooh. Ooh. Damascus steel. One of the most, like, I think one of the most powerful steels ever made by humans. <laughs> Currently, uh, if I remember correctly, the knowledge how to make the true Damascus steel has been lost in time. Uh, it was somewhere near Jerusalem, I believe. I think that steel is coming from like area around Jerusalem, probably. Like the original idea how to make this steel has been forgotten, and right now you can make Damascus steel, but this is not exactly like the real thing, I believe. I'm, I'm not exactly sure about that. Sedge. Can search this. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Well, that was worth it, I guess. Okay, was it? Ah, his hat. A bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. <laughs> I wonder who. <laughs> oh man. Right. I don't think we have anything else over here. Okay. So, should I try to? Ah, I got very little effort points. Crap. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. <laughs> you are busy, right? Does he own a pistol? As any good soldier would, I imagine you own a firearm. May I see it? Oh, well, if you really want to, here is my pistol. Don't worry, it is not loaded. Do you have several of these? In Corsica, oui, but not on me when I am traveling. Only a bandit would carry such an arsenal. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Question him over the last night. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed. It is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. Yeah. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. With? <laughs> who with? Can you tell me who was present at the game, please? Well, there were Lord Mortimer, President Washington, and Sir Gregory. Thank you. Ah, Ooh. And his eminence, Piaget, as well. Excuse me, I nearly forgot him. Poor soul. Poor soul, you say? Did any of you leave during the game? Not that I know of, monsieur. I didn't exactly spend my time noting the other guests' comings and goings, but I don't think so. Thank you. Okay, so actually what he's saying is true, that those guys have like a strong alibi, because like, I don't think Lord Mortimer would try to risk something like this. Did you notice anything unusual during the evening? Nothing at all, except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory at cards. Did they win much? Oh la la, monsieur, they cleaned us out more like. But I plan on getting it all back before we leave. Mm-hmm. You do? Interesting. Until what time? What time did the game end? I can't say exactly. As for me, I must have stayed until midnight. I was exhausted, oh, couldn't think straight, so I preferred to go up to bed. On your way up to bed, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. Not really, no. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Uh, he was looking around Elizabeth's room. Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. 
You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste, and I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers each time. Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not to insist. I could have helped her. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have the psychology, so I cannot get this thing. Were you able to recognize the Prowler? Unfortunately not, no. It was dark, and Lord Mortimer was waiting for me. I was not really paying attention anyway. You are kind of like lying, aren't you? Question locked. Ah. Okay. So nothing well, I can get out of him. Finish, monsieur. For exactly. now. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. That didn't help me at all. But okay, let's assume for a second that his alibi is strong and that he actually spent uh, the night with Mortimer, Sir Gregory, uh, Piaggi, and Washington. I think, I don't know. And I really need to get the big inventory. Mr. Jack Peru. Uh oh. Hi, bitch. Oh my god, he's ugly as all seven what fox. Do you want from me, Deriche? Greetings. It's fallen to Cut me. Cut the crap! Get to the point. We both know why you're here. And have you got anything to tell me? What does it matter? It's too late anyway. Do what you have to do and get out. Huh. Psychology 2. Okay, I think I have this thing. Right, let's see. It's never too late, sir. If you have something to say, now is the time. You don't understand. Everything's already written. It's over. Why is he behaving like the perfect culprit? What is it that's already written? I'm not sure I follow you. No, you don't. What? Okay, this is fishy. Right, so let's take a, like, a look around. What exactly we can find over here? What's this? I can try to unlock it. Great. Honey. Well, okay, that's like still worth it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take a look around his his apartment and see what exactly we will try to find. Uh, expect for some pictures. A book. Records of the police. Notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris, and there's some well-known names on it. This is valuable information. This shouldn't be lying around. <laughs> so let's take it with us. Jack Peru, psychology. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Okay, Golden Link said, I have shields of it. Four circles shaped key. Hmm. Dear friend, please come and join us. We must meet about the ongoing operations in Paris. A boat will be waiting for you in Calais and will take you to Dover in England. From there, a carriage will take you to the port of Tintagel where a frigate will be waiting for you and other guests, so you can meet up with me on my island as quickly as possible. I await your arrival. Hmm. Lord William Mortimer. Did you notice that this letter is not named? It's just Dear Friend. Interesting. Dear Friend. Oh! A box scratcher! A box scratcher! A box scratcher! Okay, I don't think... I don't think there's like actually anything else over here. I know that was not a back scratch, it's a joke. Shut up. <laughs> okay. This doesn't look like there's anything over here. I'm just gonna like take a look around quickly once again. Different. Nothing over here. Nothing behind it. I think this room is clean. I think. Nothing interesting whatsoever over here at the moment, so that's nice. Oh. Okay, the door unlocked. <laughs> What's a surprise? More letters over here. Okay, don't read this one. I don't know if you shall meet again. At this point in time, I'm a prisoner, shared by my own decisions. You must be protected. My future is lost without you. You can still be saved. No matter how much bitterness you hold against me, you must know that I made a pact with the devil who thought I would could master. I fought and knew the monsters, but what I did for France is nothing compared to what they are capable of doing. Now I can't see any way out. The jobs are closing upon me. I love you now and forever. 
No fucking ass idea what that thing was. Okay, looking around in circles, searching all day, searching all night. The massacre of the innocents, but by Van Harlem. I think that Mortimer likes to play mind games with his guests. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> okay, there's like some. I hope he won't mind that I'm actually like checking his stuff around. A pattern with four circles. I have a key. Ooh, a letter and some stuff. <laughs> Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. The children and myself will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic. Long live France. Sister Marie Allen. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Ooh, looks like Mr. Bad Guy over here is not exactly that evil from the from the looks of it. Okay, and he has like shitloads of stuff over here. Dear Mr. I have no space left. Uh, okay. I'll retrieve it later. So uh, there's like a lot of stuff over there that I cannot pick up. Lovely! My god. Okay, so let's talk with him. Alright. Have you finished? No. Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. So which exactly we should try to f I found this letter. Let's talk about it. Ooh. Maybe he has a gun. You were armed the night of my arrival. Can I see your weapon? No. You do Ooh. realize you're not helping, don't you? You're making it worse for yourself. Okay, he has some secrets. I found his footprint at the scene. I know you were at the scene. We will save a lot of time if you just tell me what happened. You know nothing at all. Enlighten me then. For now, I have your footprint in a pool of blood. That's right. The only thing you can prove is one of my boots was at the scene. Congratulations, you've wrapped up the investigation. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm not done all with you. Right. Have you finished? No. Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. He's gonna shoot me, isn't he? <laughs> uh, okay, question locket. Did you kill Elizabeth? Cost reduces by three. Manipulation level two. Oh, I could try to get this thing. I found this letter. Let's talk about I'd it. I'd like to talk about the letter you're writing. What woman is it addressed to? Who says it's a woman? I'm not saying any more. There's no point you insisting. I am not done with you. All right. Have you finished? <laughs> not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. Okay, let's try to use... Next skill is free. Let's use this. Okay. Two days ago, I surprised you having a go at Miss Adams. What happened? Did you want to give her another beating? She wouldn't let you push her around again, huh? Shut up, you little shit! You have no idea what happened, and here you are, carping away. You think you're investigator of the year. Have you taken a look at yourself, Dorishe? Didn't you get enough beating her black and blue the last time? I did not! Okay. Don't let him off. Ah, uh, logic locked. I don't know, can I use this thing? Do I have logic? Wait, do I have... Okay, I can go, I can go over here, great, awesome. Uh, logic, 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 logic. Where's logic? Ah, fudge, I don't have any logic. Shit. Okay. Go on, keep going. Finish what you came to do, then get out of my room. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so I cannot get through that thing. I surprised you having a go at Miss We need to have like a better thingy at him. Like we need to have like a better hook on this guy. What? He is guilty. I think. What was this? On Davis' phone, of course. The things I already have, like in tons, I cannot pick up more. God damn it. Okay. Uh, who's this room? I don't. See. Okay. I can. I cannot access this anyway. So that's like a pity. Can I access this one though? I can. So whose room is this? I think this is the room of Piaggi. 
<laughs> How do I know? A lot of red. The guy loves red. The alchemist is a young man. Okay, let's take a look around. I think this is Piaggi's room. No, this is... Wait, who the fuck is this guy? Who the... Von Volnerum room. Ah! The Prussian king himself. Okay. I have found a coin. The light bulb. Oh, a thingy. A fragment of amber. Ooh, lovely. The alchemist is an old man. <laughs> Great. Uh, still searching for stuff. Okay, oh, wait. Saw something. The use phone. Why? There's so much things around here that I cannot use. It's so bloody as annoying. I mean, like, I don't know. You don't have enough pockets in your thing? Jesus, thank Christ. Okay, let's try to talk with this guy. Hello. What can I do for you, Dorishe? Jump through the window. Lord Mortimer has appointed me to investigate the tragedy that befell us last night. Oh, yes. It's horrible. Yes. How can I help, monsieur? Uh... Okay. Learn about Elizabeth tattoos. Did you see how many tattoos Miss Adams had on her? Of course. Who wouldn't have noticed? Yes, but I'm sure that an expert like yourself must have an opinion on the subject. I do. She was seeking to imprison something inside her. Her own body had become a sort of prison. She wanted to protect herself. Is that what you're saying? Elizabeth was a flame. A candle in the night. And like all candles in the night, she was surrounded by darkness, by her demons. Call it what you will. One thing is for sure. She struggled against hell and high water not to let her flame go out. Interesting. Where were you last night? In my room. I read a few ancient manuscripts before going to bed, but I didn't stay up long. I was tired. Thank you kindly. Ha, huh, that's... We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. Can I piss on your bed? I hope not. Okay, well, not too many information from him. What's this? A chest lock with a four-letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Characters. No, character. No, no, no. Uh, what is the... Ah, journal. Okay. This guy is... Bonaparte, Washington, Hillbro, Emily, Dirichet, Louis. There he is. Okay. The Prussian Minister of Religion. Okay, a friend of King Frederick William II of Prussia. Von Wolner secretly managed the affairs of state. Former pastor and member of a Masonic League. He had uh, all the time he needed to con convert his king to his point of view. Together they opened their own lodge. Under the influence of the Ricochet personality, something, something, something about the occultist, science and alchemy, he led a war of religion in the country and facilitated combat the ideas of enlightenment. A friend of Sir Georgery Holm. Von Wolner believes in spiritual alchemy, of which the materia prisma is the human soul. Uh, can I get an S? No. Shit. So what work? God? Probably no. What's the fucking password for this thing? State? King? King? Maybe King? Wait. Let's see. No, don't have a K. K. Shit. Let's take a look around more. What's this? Search. Golden elixir. Hey, another one. Pies the dust. Ooh, a book. The sorrows of young Werther. There's a handwritten text signed by von Werner on this first page. Dear Elizabeth, I know that this book is but a small token compared to the delightful moments you gave me, but I hope that this will nonetheless keep the memory alive. Your ever obedient servant. So. Volner had a relationship with Elizabeth. Yeah. But that's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. Yeah. A table of alchemical symbols. Someone circled the zinc symbol. Aha! That's the password. Zinc. Okay, let's lock. see. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know, I know. Zinc. Sure zinc. Close to Stop talking by the... Okay, first letter. Z. Yep. E. N. N. C. 
<laughs> Easy. Okay, mysterious notes added to the inventory. Uh, inventory, mysterious notes. Saddles. Not this. Not this. Encyclopedia. Uh, mysterious notes. I don't know where the mysterious notes are. Just saying. And there's another book over here. How delightful. Okay. And something over here. Ah, great. More of the good stuff. What's this? The signs of obscurantism. Interesting. Okay, the room of this guy is like weird. A ruble. A ruble. A gold coin. I know I think about you. Excuse me for asking, but did you know Miss Adams? Oh, she... Uh, not really, to tell the truth. No. I found the Verter dedication, signed by your hand, monsieur. Would you like to change your version now? Be careful, Duriche. Don't push your luck. My relationship with Miss Adams was pure and has nothing to do with you. Continue playing the detective as you see fit. But if I find the bastard who did that to Elizabeth, I will... Yes! I would have preferred a simple response, but I see I have my answer now. Well, 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 I can manipulate this guy. Nature of a relationship. Do you love her? Okay, uh, let's use one of those. Please, tell me a little more about the nature of your relationship. That is a personal matter, monsieur. Yes, that is true. So, tell me. All right. It was passion. That's why we couldn't stay together. It scared her. Wow. That's a lot of information. I could try to unlock the other ones. Let's, let's try to. You loved her, didn't you? That is none of your damn business. Your feelings betray you, sir. So far, yes. I loved her like a moth loves the flame of a candle. That's why we could never be together. Okay, so I think he's saying the same thing over and over again. No point of losing points. We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. He is in sorrow. Poor, poor bastard. You will never find like another lunatic as Elizabeth, don't you? I get it, dude. I get it. I don't get it, actually. Now, I was ba I'm back at the Elizabeth room. Uh, the thing is that when I was like walking around, I find different keys. Uh, one like in the corridor, I think. Yeah, before like around over here, and then I like found keys around in various rooms. And apparently, one of the keys that I have found is fitting into the locker in Elizabeth room. So this is the room. There's the dead corpse, if you haven't noticed. And there is a chest. A chest with a half circle pattern. That I have a key for. Brilliant. Oh, what's this? An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. But I can analyze this thing. Analyze the notes. Okay, both of them are like gonna cost me the same. Feet and hands are bound. A piece of cloth in the mouth prevents the tongue from being sectioned. It looks like preparation for an exorcism. Is Elizabeth really possessed? Time to look, empty-matic. Okay, can I analyze this thing even more? I don't know, should I try to? Uh, okay, next kill is... Okay, let's... Should I try to use this thing? Should I? Okay, let, fuck it, let's risk it. The note suggests binding the feet and hands, then blocking the jaws using a piece of cloth to prevent the tongue from being sectioned. That looks like a method to control an epileptic fit. I wonder if Elizabeth is the one being treated for that illness. So you actually get different things from checking different like aspects of the like information gathered around. That's quite interesting. Very, very indeed. My dear Elizabeth. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna find anything else over here. I also don't think there's like another locker. Okay, we are fine to leave. Wait. Oh, I thought that like for a second I can try to find something else, but no, apparently this is all the stuff we can. Okay, 
I need to look for the remaining lockers because I think I have like two more keys. Right, so we are back at Elizabeth room. Uh, I did not manage, there's like one more locker, but I don't, I didn't find the key. I have two additional like keys, but they are not usable for me, uh, like for anything at the moment. So I'm not exactly sure where those two will fit. Probably somewhere, I don't know, we're gonna maybe find out very soon. Now, the thing is, uh, I'm running sorry and sending of record time, so for now I have to like leave it over here. However, you guys are gonna receive the homework, yes. Uh, your job is to try to figure out who killed Elizabeth, okay? You have to like watch for the episode in order to like to get all of the clues. Uh, I hope I provided you with enough information. Just to rustle up this thing quickly. Uh, let's see, so Elizabeth has been killed uh, by somebody with small hands. And they're like blueprints of large military boots, probably military. Um, the shed, we don't know where Sarah. Uh, uh, Emma and Emily, um, I think they have like an alibi, so they cannot actually like, do anything. Von Volner is in love with Adams. Uh, Peru, he is hiding something, but I don't actually think he killed her because that would be too obvious for a game like this. I mean, he is aggressive, but uh, Peru, he is he is aggressive, but I don't think that he actually killed Elizabeth. Uh, Home. I didn't spoke with him, so we need to look for him and speak with him. Probably, uh, I don't think he actually like, has a uh, like an alibi. I don't think he's involved in this thing. I hope not. Hmm, how to say? Bonaparte has a gun. Okay, he has a gun, and the gun is with him, so that couldn't be him. Peru had a gun, but I don't know does he has his gun with him. Piaggi, I don't know where's Piaggi. Uh, Diddy shit is me, of course. The Sevens definitely didn't do that thing. And Washington is probably... The thing is with Washington that he said to you that he didn't spoke with Elizabeth, but she gave, he gave her the medicine. So he did spoke with her. So I'm not exactly sure, is he lying? Or this is just like a, like a little error that the developers did. Uh, and also Mortimer has a alibi for Peru, if I remember correctly. No, for Piaggi for Bonaparte and for somebody else. I think that was Washington and someone else. They were playing with four people. You have to like watch for the episode to actually like find out. The thing is that Bonaparte left at midnight and the rest of them, they were playing cards till three o'clock, right? I think three o'clock. They were playing late at night. They were playing a lot longer than he did. Bonaparte left at midnight, so it may be Bonaparte, because it say that somebody with small hands. I mean, he doesn't exactly look that strong, so that could be him. But then again, he's a soldier, right? He knows where to strike in order to kill somebody. So either Adams performed like a suicide and Peru found out about, I mean, he came to her room, found out what's happening and he just finished her off in order to like save her the, the, the the pain, the agony of trying to, to perform a suicide, which apparently didn't work because Elizabeth stabbed herself. Somebody stabbed Elizabeth seven times and the stabs were quite shallow. So either she did it, but she didn't have the guts to finish it or somebody else, a woman, definitely. So, but there are like only two women. It's Adams, it's a mother, Sarah, and nobody else. The rest, rest of those guys are men. Expect for Bonaparte who has quite small hands. So, I don't know. Um, hopefully you'll be able to find out according to those clues who actually did this thing. Uh, in the next episode, we're gonna try to figure out this thing out. I'm gonna also try to look for the remaining like characters and try to ask them, do they know anything? But they won't know anything, then we're gonna try to go with the comment section who actually figured out who is the killer. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> so, guys, good luck. Uh, remember that you need to watch this episode and the previous episode to get like the most information out of this investigation. For now, though, I don't link too much, so I'm just gonna leave it as over here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please subscribe a lot. I'll see you all at the next video.